to Holic Gardens and I'm happy to see you guys today. I'm very, very excited because as you see I'm using my hod. I did not use it outside. I had one of my seed boxes which is down here um, in the car and I came home and went to the backyard when I got home and started harvesting. We did a little bit of harvesting also at the church and at the allotment so I just wanted to show you guys what I got. This is out of uh, the backyard. It's a cute little carrot. Um, I got some sun sugar tomatoes, just a handful. A couple fell off while I was harvesting, so I just grab them and I'll put them in the windowsill and let them ripen. I got um, one jalapeno and a couple small eggplants I'm going to roast off. You saw those um, in a close-up in my sunken hoses video. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's a great idea for how to water your beds and save energy and time without having to drag the hoses. So I got a couple of Rutgers tomatoes here. I got, as you see, an asparagus. And this is, I think, a beef steak by the shape of it. But as you see, for a beef steak, it's ridiculously small. But I'm happy to get red tomatoes in July in Chicago Zone 5B. That's a big deal for us. You guys that have millions of tomatoes down south, you all just don't understand how different it is in the snow zone. There's a reason we're two zones, three zones colder than you guys. Got a couple of decent cucumbers. Nothing to write home about, but I'll never ever buy a cucumber in the store again. I'll tell you what. And I got, I got a handful of kale, but I had to put it in the refrigerator. I'm going to have to stick this one in there because as you see, it's wilted a little bit. I always have kale and lettuce. Um, got a couple beets here, caught a couple turnips, and I will be using these greens. And I've learned to pick clean. I cut these roots out from right out in the garden, so I don't have to wash them 18 times in the sink. That's some oh, yummy, yummy gorgeous basil to go with my tomatoes. If I can get myself some mozzarella, oh my gosh, calabrese salad, anybody? But this was the star of the harvest. This is my patty pan squash. You saw a few a couple weeks ago. Same two plants with the seeds Jim Polarczyk gifted me. And again, Jim Polarczyk is Gary Polarczyk from the Rustic Garden Channel's brother. And look at all these patty pans. And then, I've got about triple this amount of greens um, in the fridge, chilling, but I just wanted to share this with you. This is about five pounds of squash, believe it or not, but I wanted to say to you guys, as always, happy gardening and blessings of bounty to you and yours in this gardening season, and may your gardens always bring you joy. Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment below. I'll answer as many as I can. And thank you, as always, for visiting with me and watching. And goodbye and God bless until next time. Goodbye.